I wanted to start a series about taking notes in your Bible and maybe each week do a topic and a chapter and a certain book of the Bible. And today I wanted to do the topic, the day of the Lord. What is the day of the Lord about? And I want to show you pictures of a couple of my new Bibles. One of them I got specifically for this purpose of doing these videos. I got a used wide margin Bible that hadn't been used too much. And I studied this topic, the day of the Lord. I got the references on it. And I want to show you how you can put notes in your Bible. Of course, you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it. But it could give you an idea and hopefully inspire you to take notes in your Bible. So, the first one I'm going to show you is my newest common man's reference Bible. How I put it in there. That's my main Bible. I got it about a year ago. I've had the other common man's reference Bibles. And I think it's the best Bible to use. Because, I mean, it's got the wide margins for notes. But then it's got, you know, 30 plus years of his references that he's wrote down and some of his notes in there so already at the start you've got all 60,000 or so references from his bible and then you can add your own in there so this topic the day of the lord so what is the day of the lord it, if you read the verses it obviously primarily has to do with the second coming of the lord jesus christ so I want to show you how I wrote this down here. So I went to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And at that verse where it says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. See, when I think of the phrase day of the Lord, my mind thinks of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. So what you want to do is, when you think of the phrase day of the Lord, where does your mind go to? Does it go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5? Or does it go to another place that says day of the Lord? So that's why I chose 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 to start putting my notes in for the day of the Lord. Because say somebody just says, what's the day of the Lord? Could you explain that to me? Then I can just, I know that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, that's where I have my notes for that topic. So I just take them to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and then there is my notes for that. And what I did was, I just looked up the references for the verse, and I, I wrote them down, and I wrote a little description beside each verse that I wrote down. And if you want to write these down in your Bible, if you would wait till the end of the video first, because I wrote it down this way in this Bible, but I wrote it down another way in the Bible that I bought just for this purpose. So, let's go through these. Okay, the first one is Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 12. Describing the day of the Lord, it says, The proud are brought low. So when Jesus Christ comes back on a white horse, all the mighty men, the rich men, the chief captains, the mighty men, they're going to be brought low. The proud are going to be brought low. And then Isaiah 13, 6 explains how the day of the Lord comes, at he, comes as a destruction. Isaiah 13, 9 says it comes with cruel and fierce anger. Isaiah 34, 8 explains how it's a day of vengeance. Jeremiah 46, 10 explains how the Lord's sword will devour. Ezekiel 30 and verse 3, it's a cloudy day. Joel 1, 15, it's a destruction from the Almighty. Joel 2, 11, it's a great and very terrible day. Uh, Joel 2.31, sun and moon are turned to darkness on this day. Amos 5.18 says it's darkness and not light. Zephaniah 1.18, it's going to be a, a day when the Lord devours everything with the fire of his jealousy. Malachi 4.5 explains how Elijah is going to come before that day. Acts 2.20 describes it as a notable day. So there's just a few references on that day and you what you can do is you can write a, a couple words or a, a sentence for each verse and then write the verse and then if you want to explain to someone the day of the lord or want to 
look back on it again yourself in the future. You just come back to where you wrote it down, and then there you go. Or you don't even have to put it in your Bible. You could put it in a, in a, a nice little notebook. Or if your Bible has pages in the back, you could put it there. But I chose to put it there in my Bible. That way I know exactly where it's at. And I can read the verses about it as I go along. So that is how I put it in my Common Man's Reference Bible. And that's the one that I recommend. But also, like I said, I bought the... I bought a, a wide margin, a used wide margin Bible just for this purpose. And what I did in that one was... I just went to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. I underlined Day of the Lord. I wrote Day of the Lord down at the bottom. And I put all of my, I guess you'd say favorite references to that verse, to that phrase. I wrote them all un underneath it. And then I wrote a brief description of what it is. And I put it's the physical return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And since a thousand years is as one day to the Lord, the millennial reign is the same day. So, you know, when the Bible refers to the day of the Lord, it's primarily talking about the second coming when Jesus Christ comes back with the saints. But since a thousand years is as one day, it also covers the millennial reign as well. And then in 2 Peter 3, 7 through 10, you have where it says the day of the Lord, so cometh as a thief in the night. And let's go ahead and go there and read it. That way I can make sure I got it perfectly. But in 2 Peter chapter 3, in verse 7, it says, But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but his long-suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So you see the phrase day of the Lord, and then you saw in verse 8 how it says uh, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. And I believe that shows that the day of the Lord not only includes the second coming of Jesus, but the millennial reign, and then at the millennial reign, you have it when the, the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and that's when the great white throne judgment will begin. But that is how that I take notes in my Bible. We got the topic. The topic was the day of the Lord. You find the verse that's most familiar to you. Or maybe the verse that you think is the definitive verse for that topic. And then you go to that page. You write all the references down. Like I did in this Bible. And then write a little paragraph. Or you can do it how I did it in the common man's reference Bible. And you know, go to the verse you want to do. And then write a little sentence beside each verse. Showing you what each verse is. That way you wouldn't necessarily have to turn... To that verse because you already that's going to already tell you what that verse is saying so i mean it's up to you on that you don't have to do it exactly like i'm doing it but that could give you an idea about how to take notes in your bible and i'm not 100 percent sure that i can do this every week but i would also like to go verse by verse through a book of the bible really showing you my notes and how i took the notes on it and do an overview of each book of the bible this way showing you how to take notes for each book of the Bible. But this has been a short video on the topic, the day of the Lord.